Good gardening morning, family and friends. I'm a little bit under the weather, but I'd still like to give you a video today talking about seed starting because it is that time of the year. If you want a seed start, now is the time to do it for a fall garden. So I have got some seeds that I have already started and I want to show you what they are. And I did uh, want to start a variety of seeds. So here we go. Kohlrabi. This is a great plant. If you've never had it, you can use it sort of like cabbage. So we have that one. That was green kohlrabi. Here is some purple kohlrabi. Like purple cabbage. I also started um, several different kinds of cauliflower. So here is the twister cauliflower. That's the one that you might be um, used to. Um, but there are other kinds of cauliflower as well. So let me find them. I guess I did not have these in order. This is another cauliflower very similar to that one called Snowball. Also a white cauliflower. And I may not have them here because I might have used them up. I, here is a flame star cauliflower that is yellow. And there is a purple one, and I used all those seeds up so I didn't keep the little package. The next thing we have is kale. So this one is called the Blue Night Kale. It's a curly kale. and scarlet kale, which of course is purple. The thing with the vegetables that are purple is that they have anthocyanins and those are really good for you. So if you get a chance to plant, plant your green stuff, but also plant some purple stuff. In that vein, um, we have some red Russian kale, also a different color than just green. We have broccoli. We've got the Godzilla broccoli, which is green. We have some purple broccoli and some Reminesco broccoli. I also planted collards, celery, which this is not real, it doesn't have a picture of the celery, but celery rutabaga and by the way on the rutabaga you can eat the leaves of rutabaga just like you would eat the leaves of turnips so turnip greens rutabaga greens are really the same um, and then cabbage I have cheers cabbage that I planted Charleston Wakefield cabbage you can see that that head is kind of conical rather than the spherical head that you saw in the other cabbage and some Rio Grande red cabbage. Now I started these a few weeks ago and they're coming up and doing well. I'm seed starting them inside with a makeshift grow light and they're about three inches tall and I expect to put them out in the garden uh, the first week of September most likely. Now here's what I'm going to plant today. Ruby Fresh Baby Swiss Chard. Some more broccoli. Some early round Dutch cabbage. Some mustard greens. These are called Ruby Streaks. And I have seen someone on YouTube actually make mustard out of these. Endive. Um... Fang King Pak Choi, which I probably messed that up big time. These are really, really good. They grow really fast, and you can harvest them small, or you can let them get larger, but these are really great. Red Acre Cabbage. Baby Leaf Lettuce Mix. Butterhead Lettuce. Again, no picture, but Butterhead Lettuce. Butter Crunch Lettuce. Simmerin lettuce. Again, 
a red purple color, Lola Rosa leaf lettuce, Mizuna mustard. These are the Sun Angel spinach, purple top turnip, and yes, I am going to transplant my turnips, early wonder beets, golden Detroit beets, boulder beet, um, I guess, let's see, boulder beet, Touchstone Gold Beet, Merlin Beet, and Chioga Beets. These are really cool if you can see that. It has that um, kind of circular pattern there. Um, I would really like to uh, make pickled beets out of these. I have to admit, I'm growing so many different types of beets because I've never successfully grown beets. Um, successfully meaning more than a couple actually made a beet root. Now, when you're starting this many seeds inside, you need a really nice tray. If you go to Haas Tools, they have some trays. They're a bit expensive, but they are really good and they hold up year after year, so I'm using that. Another thing I learned, Go get a garden marker. You can get these on Amazon. Um, they will not fade in the sunlight. And get some garden markers. I'm using plastic ones. I know people might say, well, you should be using um, the wooden sticks so that they decompose. I'm trying to use these over and over. But this is what they look like. I have already gotten all of my names put on a, on these so all I have to do is take my tray put my little markers out put my seeds out to match the markers and then put a little bit of soil on top and move them into um, the bathroom which is where I have my seed starting trays I've got them on an electric timer so they come on around six o'clock they go off at 11 15 every day I have my water there to easily water them and fertilize them as needed. Um, everything appears to be going okay with that first tray, so today I'm going to start the second tray. So I'm not going to bore you by planting seeds in front of you, but if you want to get seeds in the ground for a fall slash winter garden, now is the time. The other thing that I plan to plant in the next couple weeks are English peas. I've got my rattlesnake pole beans off of the fence. They're um, all dried up and gone, and so I'm going to retill that area. I'm going to plant the English peas, and hopefully they'll be up for about a week or two, and then I'll plant lettuce and perhaps radish next to them. And then after that, um, I will also be planting onion seeds uh, at the beginning of September, so I'll have onion transplants for um, mid, -oct mid to late October, so they'll be ready to go out. Again, I'm doing all of this inside because last year when I tried to do my seed starting outside, those little nasty worms got all of my seedlings. So I have much better luck seed starting inside. So go out, grab you some seeds from some reputable dealers, um, Haas Tools and Johnny Seeds, uh, Baker Creek are just a few of the ones that I use. Go ahead, get them planted, get them ready for a fall slash winter garden, especially if you are in the south. Have a wonderful week full of bountiful blossoms and blessings.